Hello, Laurel Crest. I'm coming at you again from a room in my house. I know this year we are having to do this uh, Veterans Day program virtually, so welcome to a room in my house. And uh, just wanted to say happy Veterans Day to everybody. But I wanted to talk to you just a moment. The ancient Greeks had this notion of what was called philosopher kings. Philosophers were ridiculed and thought to be really a mere waste of space and time uh, in ancient Greece by many of the people. But then you had a few, uh, especially um, Socrates and his pupil Plato, who believed that society had it all wrong. They had it backwards. Philosophers ought to be in power, they thought, or at the very least, those in power ought to be philosophers. Now, our founding fathers were trained in uh, this classical Greek philosophy. And as they wrestled with the ideas of what we call, a, or what they call, and we do too, a more perfect union, and they prescribed orders for justice and tranquility, common defense, general welfare, and blessings of liberty, they were probably imagining a whole nation of philosopher kings, not just a few or a group who's in power, but a whole nation full of philosopher kings. To sever that sea-length umbilical cord that was tethered to the colonies or that tethered the colonies to the motherland, they wielded the spirit of we the people, we the people. A nation of philosopher kings was born and each citizen would be guardians of the constitution at the core of this experiment in representative democracy. While every American is a guardian who is tasked with upholding um, for themselves and for others, really, this, these philosophical principles of the Constitution, some among us wear the uniform and they become a deployable asset of the country. The women and men of our military, every soldier, seaman, airman, marine, and coastie, not only pledge their minds and hearts to those uh, self-evident evident truths that we all hold, but they offer up their very bodies, their very livelihoods. The, this is the epitome of service in our country, in America. The book of Ecclesiastes says, to everything, a season and a time for every matter under the sky. That was written by that ancient Jewish teacher. And among those times, there is a time for war and a time for peace. There's the old man in ancient China writing the Tao Te Ching, and he says, the best policy is calm uh, restraint. And he also says, a victory in war should be celebrated with the funeral rite. There is solemnity to that mantle taken up by our military training for war that there might be peace is a sacred space within our Constitution. Today, we want to celebrate those who stand in the gap for America, here at home and abroad. Thank you for showing us what it means to serve something bigger than ourselves. Happy Veterans Day to all of you.